Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m plus 10 whole square equals to 100 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here we solve this problem for two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods. Uh, but if you have any other method in your mind, please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Some viewers uh, uh, tells in comment section that this question is solved for only one second or two seconds or one minute only. Uh, I am just uh, let you know about that. Now uh, in exam, if you do this question in one or two steps only, then you cannot give us the uh, complete marks. So in order to gain the complete marks, you can do this question uh, step by step. Uh, so that's why I can just solve this problem uh, for a step by step solution. Now, okay, I hope so you understand uh, the reason uh, and now the very first step we are going to do is here first in the first method uh, we apply here uh, the nice uh, algebraic formula you know that if you have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So here first we solve this problem with the help of this nice formula for this we first need to rearrange the terms of the given question uh, and now we move this 100 in the left hand side and it will be written as m plus 10 whole square minus this is 100 equals to 0 uh, and we know that 100 uh, is the uh, uh, if you can just take uh, the square then we write 10 square is equals to 100 okay uh, and now in the next step uh, we uh, just apply here the above nice algebraic formula so according to this formula we write this expression as first you have a minus b here we have the value this is the value of a it is m plus 10 and the value of b is 10 only and we have first a minus b the value of a is m plus 10 and minus the value of b is 10 only into a plus b again the value of a is m plus 10 and plus the value of b is 10 only and this is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we need more simplifications and it is written as this is positive and negative are gone and we get here m times of m plus this is 10 plus 10 becomes 20 and this whole equals to 0. Now we divide this into the two cases the first case is we write here m is equal to 0. So in the second case uh, we can just put here the m plus 20 equals to 0. Uh, so this is the our first solution of the given equation and now here we have this is m equals to this plus 20 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 20 and this is equals to 0. So we have these are the two solution sets of the given equation uh, and now here uh, we move uh, forward uh, in the second solution set. Uh, so in second method. Uh, we first uh, copy down the given question statement here uh, so the given question statement is m plus 10 whole square is equals to 100 so here we solve this uh, problem again with the help of this nice algebraic formula if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so now here you see that uh, the uh, this is the value of a and this is the value of b and now here we need to just put these two values in the below formula uh, and after substitution these values we get the output of above expression is written as first you have a square the value of a is m square plus two times of a b again the value of a is m and the value of b is 10 and plus b squared so b is 10 squared this is equals to 100 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m squared plus this is 2 times of 10 becomes 20m and here you have 10 squared and we know that 10 squared is equals to 100 and it is also equals to 100. Uh, and now here in the next step we move this 100 in the left hand side and it will be written as m square plus 20m plus 100 and minus 100 equals to 0. 
and now you see here this is negative term and this is positive term are cancelled out by each other and we will obtain here m square plus this is 20 m and this whole equals to zero and now here further in the next step you see here we have m be the common term so here we take common m and we get the remaining values are m plus 20 and this is equals to zero so here we again divide this equation in two cases the first case is we write m equals to zero and the second case is we write m plus 20 equals to zero so again this is our first real root of the given equation and here you have this is plus 20 uh, when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 20 and this is the our second solution of the given equation so you see here uh, in in both of these methods uh, we obtain here the same values of m uh, and now here in the next step we need to uh, verify these solutions uh, is these solutions uh, satisfied our given question statement or not mm, so for this first we need to copy down the given question statement here it is m plus 10 whole square equals to 100 and now first we verify the solution m equals to 0 here and in this side uh, we will just verify the solution m equals to minus 10 here okay uh, so that uh, now here first we need to uh, verify uh, this solution set so that we substitute this value of m in the left hand side of uh, this equation uh, so uh, we have uh, first you put 0 and equals to here so you get a 0 plus 10 whole square is equals to 100 and 0 plus 10 becomes 10 square equals to 100 and here we know that 10 square becomes 100 equals to 100 so this shows that the value of m equals to 0 satisfied over this question statement uh, and now here uh, similarly we will just verify the second solution uh, or second value of m so here we put m equals to minus 20 into this equation so we have this is minus 20 plus 10 whole square is equals to this is our 100 and now here we need to uh, simplify the terms and you have minus 20 plus 10 is equals to the minus 10 square equals to 100 and here we know that um, the minus square will become positive so this minus square become positive and we have only uh, 10 square equals to 100 and this 10 square is also 100 equals to 100 this shows that the second value of m is also satisfied the given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos